Okay, hello everybody, Clerx is here and today we are playing some more Gone Home. So, um, so when we last left off, it is, I don't know why that's not, um, is that we had to open this locker. We had to go out to open this. So, we open this and then this is Lonnie. This got be Lonnie. Yep. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Okay, so they did like each other. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Um, so what did the keys say? Um, I know there's items here. Yes, the key says basement. So it's not over there. So it has to be downstairs. And I'm going to take the shortcut through the library. Which is just through the, the, the park. Bathroom! Are you, uh, I might be serious right now, I might be real. The bedroom. And of course I have turned up my brightness, I found out how. I found certain things are dark and I would have missed things a lot. Like really a lot. So this is the basement and I believe the only door that was locked. I should have gotten the stairway because it's over here I believe. I think this is supposed to be the basement. Not quite sure. I'll check. I can see slightly what's in there. Okay, so that's not the basement, and there's no way I can uh, select my keys or items. I can hover. Let me see what they say. Like, I have switched all the lights on just in case. Okay, I didn't know what that squeaking noise was, so. Yeah, I'm gonna love this. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be done with this. I know I shouldn't be switching on lights, but I feel like it's much better. So, we have a self drink. Drunk. And go all out. So, like uh, always, you can pause to read these if you can. I know it's sometimes very difficult, especially for me. Just pause the video just so you can read these. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to say something like that. Um... Ah, Sam plus Lonnie. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know... So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Right, the reason I did pick these up, and like I said, you can pause the video to see these. The reason I paused is because I'm not always quite sure as Katie. Oh, it's Tattoo. Okay, I think that'd be important. So I would think this is supposed to be dark. Um, it's quite loud. Especially in my ear. Okay, little note. Like, same as I don't even. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. 
But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Ah, that was actually quite sweet. So of course it looks like Sam was going to get her like a necklace too. Huh, that's really sweet little book. And nineteen sixty. I'm just looking for numbers because like we had two codes and it's like a puzzle game. And if it's something to do like reading certain things, it's gonna be really hard for me. Hello. What is this? Okay. So yeah, it's gonna be hard to see some of these things. Especially in writing form. So I would generally do from the front sometimes, but not all the time. There's some junk here, but this thing has to be. Hello. And there's a um, X ray specs. Hello. This is. Um, girls, um, okay. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. So I couldn't spin that round. Wait, it is a safe there, so... I haven't exactly seen any numbers, because that's a four digit code. Uh, um, what was that um, date in the book? I don't know if that is the true password, but at least it's a uh, try. But I think it's something that's quite obvious. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Ah, uh, I got a problem. I actually cannot move. I don't know why, but I cannot move. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I don't really know what just happened. But, um, I glitched or something or... I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Oh! Okay, I can't exactly see what this says. So, if you guys can, you can read out to yourselves. Because obviously I can't. Is 
shame I can't see my own feet. It's a shame I can't see my own hands. Okay, let's not go up yet. Okay, there's two ways. Get up. Get up. Oh, there's something there. Get up. There's only a sock. Ooh! Woman outlaws. E. Well, those two look epic. Wait, so there's a CD just like, you know, to take like, play their song. I'm just skipping through these because sometimes I can't see it, so. Okay. So I believe this is their song. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? about who she is. She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Obviously, um, Sam is so into Bonnie, and she's joined the army. That's why the army. And um, oh, that's a nice, lovely picture of a dead vampire, I believe. You can tell it's a vampire. Okay. But yeah, um, it seems that. She as long as one to the army, sounds going to be this uh, so, so we're looking out for a code as well. Lovely, because it took me a while to find the other one. Okay, I'm just using my highlight of everything so it helps me. Why is that on me? Is it done of these? Not it. There we go. Lights on. Another book. Hello. I think this just uh, makes the story in detail more. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean,. You've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. So, her parents thought that she was in a phase, but she's not? I have no clue what time set this is set on. 
but I feel like it's gonna be really really deep the story of a girl who wanted Daniel finally came over to get his game I'd been dreading it but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little I started reading it and then there I was crying at the kitchen table he asked what was wrong and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. I'm still looking out for a code. And so many writing I cannot see at all. Still. So here's recycling box. Down top there. Misk. I can see those names slightly. Better. Letter. This is from Dad. Okay. So they are sending each other letters throughout the house. Leaving notes and all that. But like her parents just really like the idea of her having money. And that's what probably why they said that it's a phrase you'll find a boy. So it's obviously I don't know what time they set they set on. Probably quite a while back when they probably don't respect people in this sort of way. Maybe I'm not quite sure. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. So I know this note here, don't know what it says, um, but yeah, really? Is she like losing it now, like she doesn't feel what she felt before, like lying? Is that what she was trying to say? That she used to felt what she used to felt? Or something like that. So there's something going on there. Okay, right there. Cup of coffee. Wait, what's this to say? Um, we will do it. That's in the way. Is there a secret entrance? What do they we agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever, and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while, 
We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. I walked into a room that's... I don't know how to explain it. But, yeah, no. What was this? Oh, it's not the code! 1963. Okay. Oh my god, what is all this? Which I did back out, which was on that piece of paper which I went to when that thing was going, and it had that thing on there, and I was like, hell no, back away, back away, back away. So it's obviously a horror sort of thing, and it got me freaked out a bit. It's not very open, is it? Um. Oh, okay. Is that like some type of glitch? You can see that, right? It's like when you're in a certain distance. It's like the light is flashing on off. You can see that, right? Okay, before we enter this, I will end the video here. So, I might finish it real quick because I think I... I think it's actually a quick game. I'm not quite sure. But hopefully it's a good ending. Hopefully it's not that type of scary sort of thing. But so far it's like really scary. So anyways, that's pretty much it from me. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, put uh, click the like button down below and the comments if you want to. And if you're new around and you just came across this um, channel or video, you can subscribe today if you really want to see more. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, Killer Exclusive out for now. Bye.